Audacity 3.6.0 has been released and it is quite a major update. The interface is redesigned and from a simpler interface, it is now going towards a complex interface. You can see I have installed Audacity 3.6 and checked some of the new features. You can now choose different themes in Audacity. You can do that from the preference. Go to the interface and choose a theme. Currently, the light theme is selected. From the drop-down, I can switch to a different theme, for example classic. The classic theme is the old theme we are used to seeing. However, the buttons got a new shape. I think most old users of Audacity will be comfortable using this classic theme. Let's explore another theme to check how it looks. I will now choose the dark theme. You can now see how the dark theme looks. You may be uncomfortable at first as the waveform's colors are different from what we are used to seeing. For old Audacity users, it would take some time to adjust to these new themes or you can use the classic theme. I will switch back to the light theme to share one of my observations. It is difficult to say if the waveform is selected or not. It looks like selected from what we used to see, but it is not. If I double-click inside it, you will notice how the selected waveform looks. I will prefer the classic theme so that I do not have to adjust too much how I use Audacity. I am not a big fan of changing the interface so frequently. It makes the experience difficult for previous users of the software. The new features in this version are related to real-time effects. In real-time effects, a master effect has been added to apply to all the tracks at once. If you are working with multiple tracks and want to apply the same effect to all the tracks, the master effect will help. I will make new videos soon explaining all the new features in detail. There are also some changes around the limiter and compressor effect. The compressor effect has been added as a real-time effect and it is going to affect very much on how we use Audacity. The compressor effect has a totally different arrangement, and I guess it also has changed how it was working behind. That is a good thing though as the compressor effect of Audacity was somewhat different than other software. Now it looks like Audacity is following the standard compressor settings of other software. Please note that the compressor effects have this new look everywhere, not just in real-time effects. If you check it from the effects menu, you will see the same interface. I have to select the audio to open the compressor effect from the menu. The new interface of the compressor means you have to learn the compressor effect again. The older compressor effect worked in a different way, so you have to adjust your learning for this new interface. The new features in this version have been targeted for better integration with MuseHub effects. If you do not know, Audacity is now under the Muse group, and MuseHub is their software. MuseHub is free, and it has some plugins that work well with Audacity. MuseHub has these plugins to work as a real-time effect in Audacity. I think Audacity development is now pushing towards real-time effects. I will release some videos on real-time effects soon. I feel Audacity is heading in a new direction and we have to adjust our Audacity learning. From the change log you can see what other features Audacity 3.6 has got. You may be wondering if should you update to this Audacity version. The rule of thumb is never to update Audacity in the middle of a project. If you are working on a project now, complete that first with the Audacity version you have. Once that project is done and complete, upgrade Audacity when you have no active project. Many people suffered by upgrading Audacity in the middle of a project. Because sometimes unknown bugs can come in with the newer version and can destroy your progress on the ongoing project. So complete your current project first, then upgrade. You may have another question for me regarding the one-click sound better macros. It is my most popular Audacity product and you may wonder if it will work with the new Audacity. Yes, it will work 100% okay with the new Audacity. If you do not know about these macros, let me show you how it works. You can see I am using 3.6.0. I am using the classic interface as I am comfortable with this interface. In the next part of the video, I will show you one tool that makes your sound better in one click. Yes, it sounds too good to be true, but your audio will be processed in a click. It is an amazing Audacity tool I developed with my years of audio editing experience. You will also get some professional EQs with this tool. If you are into professional voice editing, this is a handy tool. You can turn your raw recording into professional quality in a single click. The waveform you see on the screen is a raw recording. Before using my tool, I would just play a few seconds so that you can hear the original recording. Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software, and I recommend to use Audacity as You heard the original recording and the volume level is lower than the standard level. I will make a duplicate and compare the original and the improved version. I will apply the tool to the bottom track. Select everything inside the track by double-clicking, and go to Tools. Then go to Apply Macro. 
you can see I have lots of macros here. You will not have such a list, but I will tell you in a moment where you can get these. I have several types of improvement like clear vocal, ESS reduction, intelligent improve, interview improve, podcast improve etc. All these improvements can improve audio quality in a single click. I will show you in a moment where you can get these. I will apply the clear vocal improve on this recording. The audio has become improved instantly. Let's listen to the original and improved audio to understand the difference. I will play and alternate between the improvement and the original. Audacity is a pre-audio recording and Audacity is a pre-audio recording and editing software and I recommend to use Audacity as a uh, early software. I recommend using Audacity as the first software if you are in if you are new to audio editing and recording, I recommend using Audacity. Though Audacity may not be stable as other paid audio editing software, but it is a good software to start with. So you see what a massive improvement I got just in a click. Installation of these macros is very easy. Let me show you how to install these macros quickly. You will see how easy it is to install. From the tools menu, go to Macro Manager. You have to import the macros. Click on import. You will get a zip file from me and unzip that file and you will get the macros and EQs folder. To import the macros, select the macros folder. If you want to use the professional EQ separately, you will also get those in the EQs folder. For now, we will concentrate only on the macros because it has the professional EQ and other audio processing built into it. Inside the macros folder, you will get some TXT files. From the file name, you would know which macro it is. Each TXT file is a separate macro. You have to select a macro and open. You have to import the macros one by one as Audacity does not support bulk import of macros. I already had the macro, so it is asking me to replace it. You won't see this message installing for the first time. If I click yes, the current version of the macro will replace the older version. The macros you have imported will be listed on the left side and are ready to use. You can see the name here. Repeat this process to import all the macros if you want. This process is very simple and easy to follow. If you need help installing these, you will get after sale service after purchasing. So where do you get these macros? You can get these macros from several places. To support different payment methods, I have uploaded these macros on Patreon, on my shop, and buy me a coffee page. You can get the macros from any of the links you find convenient. They all have the same product. I have developed 11 macros with professional EQs with my years of audio editing experience. I have a detailed installation guide in the description. If you want to use these professional EQ separately, you will find instructions on that. These macros come with after sales service, so if you have any difficulty in using or installing these macros, you can email me. If you are looking for an efficient way to produce high quality voice, these macros are the solution. I am also launching a new Audacity course with version 3.6. Because the Audacity interface has changed significantly and the editing workflow has changed. You will find all the links in the description and pinned comments.